Okay, it's uh, my pleasure now to uh, introduce Rick DeVore, who's PNC's regional president for Southeast Michigan. PNC has been uh, a major funder of Annabar Spark and a big supporter of getting this whole program off the ground. So I'm asking Rick for a few remarks. Thanks. And then I've... You okay? Good morning. Uh, PNC Bank is the literacy partner of Sesame Street, and it's their 50th anniversary, so I can't step on this rug here. It reminds me of Cookie Monster, so I'm not going to do that. But I wanted to uh, walk you through, and I brought the specs because I'm old school, but I want to give a couple technology examples um, in banking. I think all of you know the process, and you're probably all too cool to do this, but if you go into a car dealer and you buy a car, and you know the guy, the guy that has that plaid coat that isn't as cool as this one, the guy with the bad haircut and that, that guy, when he takes your application and he goes and he says, I gotta go talk to my manager, what he's really doing is putting your social number into a system. And I have very small handwriting, so I gotta put my readers on. I wanna tell you what happens when the, he does that, he or she. So they take the app and he hits the go button. Let me walk you through this. App gets transmitted to PNC, PNC IDs, region, dealer, new or used vehicle. Information submitted to one of three credit bureaus. We pull the credit bureau by the appropriate zip code. Uh, we calculate your FICO score. Then we do a fraud scan to make sure you are indeed who you say you are. The credit bureau sends the file to PNC Bank, one of multiple scoring systems. Is it a thick file, thin file, you have bad credit risk, et cetera. Custom score calculated, combination FICO and custom score arranged. We calculate your debt burden, we go out and see the value of the car, and we decide whether or not we're gonna make you a loan. That process takes less than 10 seconds. But the reason why I'm telling you that story is we've been doing that for 14 years. It used to be 21 seconds 14 years ago, it's 10. Fast forward to today with real-time payments. In this era of full employment that we currently enjoy, let's say you're a nursing home operator and you're competing for part-time talent. They can go work with you, they can go work somewhere else. Wouldn't that be cool when they leave your nursing home before they hit the ignition switch in their car in the parking lot, you've paid them. Pop them the money right there, you've paid them. That's where we're at now. And so I use that old school car dealer example of that's then, this is now. We still do that, that's called indirect lending. But really what we're talking about is real time payments and really in this new world and how do you protect that? You know, I think we probably get 300, 350,000 attempts a day. So how do you protect that, the quality of that data? Because I would offer to you that we can destroy more shareholder value in one leakage than we can in you know, surpassing whatever the earnings forecast is. So even though it doesn't sound sexy, if anybody uh, is in the fintech world, we're interested, we've acquired fintechs, we've joint ventured with fintechs, it really is the new age, and that's why we're so excited to be part of this tech track, and I can see just being here from the start, we've outgrown uh, University of Michigan tech transfer, we're now here, it seems like a full house, and I just want to acknowledge that Paul Kretko and his team do just a great job. So congratulations for being here and have fun trekking. It's a gorgeous weather. Thank you.